at FL Kids, we're helping kids see Jesus for who he is and to see themselves the way that God does. Our FL Kids team is made up of caring individuals who have successfully met all of the required background checks and who are willing to spend time investing in the lives of the next generation. For our babies, we provide tender care, safe areas for infants, crawlers, and toddlers to move and explore. We want to give children a first impression of their Heavenly Father and the wonder of love He has for each of them. For our preschoolers, at an early age, we help children build a solid foundation of faith. Every weekend, we create fun worship and learning environments that lead kids to establishing a lifelong relationship with Jesus. In our elementary, our team is jam-packed full of exciting demonstrations, discussions, and interactive games that teach monthly values supported with lessons from the Bible. Our FL Kid team spends time creating small groups with the children to enable relationship building and encouragement in all areas of life when your children hit that elementary age. If you haven't tried out our FL Kids, register this Sunday and come to our Noble Road location or meet us at our Center County location. We look forward to seeing you there. Wise people listen. Uh-huh. Wise people learn. learn. Proverbs 1-5. Wiggle like a worm. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. Do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to it. Get to it. This is how we do it. do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to it. Wise people listen. Wise people learn. Uh-huh. Proverbs 1 5. Wiggle like a worm. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. Do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to, get it. to it. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. Do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to it. Wise people listen. Wise people learn. Proverbs 1 5. Wiggle like a worm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
Hi there, busy bees. Have you ever felt like giving up because something seemed too hard to do? I sure have. In fact, I felt this way at home today. I know that the Bible always has wise words, so I buzzed right over to it and found a story that helped me know what to do when I don't want to work hard. Let's get ready to hear the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. Great. Now let's get ready to see the story by putting on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Good job. Now you're ready. When I buzzed around in the Bible, I found this story about Josiah. Can you say Josiah? Josiah. Josiah became king when he was only eight years old. The kings before Josiah did not love and obey God, but Josiah did love God. Let me hear you shout, "I love you, God!" I love you, God. That's it. As king, Josiah wanted to work hard to take care of the temple. That's the place where the people went to worship God. Since the kings before Josiah didn't love God, the temple was a big mess. Josiah and his helpers. Worked hard to clean God's temple from top to bottom. Busy bees, let me see you pretend to sweep. Good job! While they were cleaning, some workers found a scroll of God's word. They quickly took the scroll to King Josiah. He read the words very carefully. Let me see you pretend to read like King Josiah. That's it. King Josiah told all the people to come hear God's word, so they could know more about God and how much He loved them. If King Josiah and his workers hadn't worked hard to clean the temple, they may not have found God's special words. This story reminds me that even when something seems too hard for me to do, God wants me to work hard, and when I do, good things could happen. So let me hear you say this after me. I will. I will work hard. Work hard. Great. Well, that's all I have for today. But before I go, would you like to do the busy bee dance with me? Yes. Then get your wings ready and make them move as we sing. I'm a little busy bee. Watch me go. I can fly fast and I can fly slow. I can fly up high, then off I go, buzzing back to the home I know. Bye bye, friends. We had a great time spending time with you. We want you to remember that God made you, 
God loves you and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. We hope that if you were not able to join us in the house today, that soon we'll see you at one of our locations. Until then, God bless.